And Utapa on fire now, 49 from 36. Robin Utapa, should I say welcome Robin Utapa? Should I say Namaskara Robin Utapa? <laughs> Vanakam Robin Utapa? <laughs> <laughs> I, I seriously don't know Robin. I mean, good, to, good, good to have you. Yeah, thanks. It's good to be here. Yeah. Uh, didn't really know where to start, to mm -hmm. be very, very honest. And therefore, I pondered long and hard, and I said, okay, what will be that dream moment in the life of a cricketer? Mm -hmm. And I thought that bus journey that you took from yeah. um, the airport mm. to the one kid after you guys came back as world champions, T20s around the corner as well. Maybe I should start from there. No, sure. is, it, is it still firmly? Fresh mind? as a yeah. daisy, that, those five hours uh, where we experienced all the different weathers that Bombay can offer. There wasn't a sea link back then uh, and we came through the normal r route where you come through Dadar and, yeah. and all of that, right? So we were coming on that way and literally there were people standing on their balconies looking at us, clapping for us, um, cheering for us. And people threw chocolates at us, yeah? They threw fruits at us, they threw water at us. I'm so grateful to God that uh, I got to experience that love from, from the people of the country. I, I know for a fact because uh, MS Dhoni at least had about five to six <laughs> yeah. bars of yeah. chocolates. You know what, you know, you know also one reason why I brought this topic up. You were there on the bus. Yeah, I was there on the bus, <laughs> I was there on the bus. Why I do you know. think I started on the bus? <laughs> okay. A bunch of us spent so much time together. Uh, Irfan, MS, RP, Piyush, me. It was just so much, so much fun. And MS is somebody that, uh, it's, it's not as if you knew MS in 2007. You guys go back a little bit earlier. Yeah, right? you, yeah. You, you've 2004. Known MS for, yeah, you've known MS for a while. Yeah, I have. Yeah, And, and he's always been a slightly different kind of personality and, and his capacity to sustain pain, his pain threshold is incredible. Uh, I remember we were playing the CB series finals, the first one, he had a back spasm a proper bad back spasm and he was in agonizing pain and he managed through the first final uh, the second final he was in even more pain because it didn't let up and it got worse and I told him MS bro I said I'll keep as if you need me to keep I'll keep he's like no I'll do it and he kept through the whole game with a back spasm both those finals he, there's no there's no two ways about it when he's representing his country when he represented his country it was like country first pain doesn't matter obsessed with playing and winning at that point it was inspirational stuff. That, that, that's the kind of stuff that I think any youngster wants to experience and say, that's the standard. And I've been very lucky and I consider myself extremely lucky to have played with the likes of Sachin Tendulkar, Rahul Dravid, Anil Kumble. My God, what an inspiration. His birthday today. Yeah, what a, like, incredible. And what, he's one of my greatest inspirations. His work ethic is second to none. Second to none, I can I can assure you about that. One inspiring moment was, I remember we finished the Dilip Trophy game, we bowled, we fielded for 90 overs and he bowled uh, a good 20, 25 overs and then he finished and he said, Baro, let's go uh, for a jog. So I'm like, Anil bhai, he's like, come, let's go. So he took, he, I went along with him and he said, 21 minute jog, cool the body down, let's do it. And he didn't have to do it. He's playing Duli Trophy for uh, just to, I think, prove fitness or something like that. And he, he, we, we did it. A, and every day after we finished uh, end of day's play, we'd do a 21 minute jog, seven rounds around the field. And for me, and that was a massive, uh, like, inspiring moment that kind of changed my whole mentality towards professional cricket. And, and, and for me, for me, these guys, for me, Sachin Tendulkar, Anil Kumble, Rahul Dravid, um, PBS Lakshman, um, and for me, I, do, I don't think it uh, it limits to former cricketers only. Um, I draw a lot of inspiration from uh, Virat Kohli. Um, uh, Brian Lara for me was massive. Uh, Matthew Hayden was a massive in source of inspiration for me. Uh, KL Rahul is a massive source of inspiration for me because I've seen KL from when he was a kid, and I've seen him develop his game. I have an interesting story about KL Rahul. We were playing the KPL in his initial years. He must have been 17 or so. And he was so technically right. But for the life of him, the kid couldn't get the ball outside the 30 yards. Is it? Yeah, he couldn't hit a ball outside the 30 yards. And in fact, the last game of that KPL season, we qualified to the, the next stage. So I said, I told Rahul, I said, I'd love for you to play, but I want someone who can, you know, 
accelerate in the first six overs. So uh, I'm going to have to let you sit down. And and uh, I think KL took it to heart. He told me later on at some point, like, uh, bro, I was very offended that you thought I couldn't hit over the 30 yards. I actually worked on my game to be able to hit big sixes. And he brought that into his game, keeping his technique. And today you've seen the development and the evolution of his game where he's brought, up, brought about his own shots. Uh, the KL flick that we that we see, so the kind of work that goes into that is in, is is in itself so inspiring, right? So for me, I draw inspiration even from the current cricketers. Um, I love the way Quentin Decock goes about his business. Uh, I love the way Joss Butler goes about his business. Sudhi Kumar Yadav, for that matter, man, I've seen him as from a youngster developing into the cricketer that he is today, and he's come and just created his own niche in the game today. And uh, you know, second Mr. 360 around uh, world cricket at the moment, great. Inspires me. Amazing. Mm. I know we are talking so much about cricket, but you could have been very well in a uh, hockey player, isn't it? I was a decent hockey player. I played for school uh, in ninth standard uh, for the f for the fun of it, and uh, I was a fairly decent fullback. Uh, my father used to be a winger. Uh, Tell me a Kurgi who doesn't play hockey. <laughs> yeah, all of us yeah. can. All of us can. So. Uh, I practically grew up in front of all of those people in, in the in the hockey association, in the Karnataka Hockey Association. The other guys at, at the selection were head and shoulders above me. So the fullbacks that I was competing with were head and shoulders above me. And yet I figured in the standbys of the of the state side. I was like, this is not done, boss. I <laughs> I knew that if I played hockey as a sport at that point, I knew if I even took it up at that point, I knew I'd make it all the way to the top, but it wouldn't be on merit. And I was at a cusp where I was choosing between cricket and other things in life because I was going through some bureaucracy in, in the in the cricket associations in, in Bangalore, in Karnataka. So, and then I said, no. And I said, cricket is always my first passion. My first memory of myself is of me playing cricket as a human being. And, and one of the things that is, is obviously changed, you spoke about the game evolving. The other thing that has changed enormously is social media. Mm. I mean, look, it was virtually absent. Or oh, it was <laughs> absent when you, when you guys... Non-existent. Uh, Non-existent. Uh, I consider myself to be a very open person, so um, I've spoken openly about my life. I've shared a lot about my life, about the, the ups and downs of my life, and I and uh, I've always felt like you know that's who I am, and I want to be authentic to who I am, and and that's and that's what I'll use my my platform for. Um, and I've tried to use that as much as possible for those reasons, uh, and I think I've been about 85% successful, 80% successful, let's say. Uh, and I think you only find balance through imbalance, which is why I kind of throw myself into a lot of these things, right? For me, I'm, Hindi is not my first language. I've thrown myself into Hindi commentary because I want to learn on the go. And I know I'll make mistakes, but I'm confident enough that I'll, and I back myself enough to say, I'll learn. And I want to get maybe half a percent, a percent better as, as and when time goes. And I think I hold that, I feel I've reached a good place there. But with the other things, I think it's evolution. You've had such a wonderful career. Uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy your second innings. Yeah. That even uh, you know announced your retirement. Right. There's one thing that I've noticed actually. That's your for mm. I am. It says is that your mantra, the life's mantra. There. Uh, I got this tattoo when I when I uh, went through the process of kind of figuring out who I was. And um, I think at the age of 24, 25, I, I set upon a journey where I wanted to live a life in a certain way and uh, with. Uh, with my own principles and, and with self-respect and self-worth and it was a two-year process for me to develop and, and grow into that man that I wanted to become and then when I completed that journey um, I decided to get this done and I know the principles and values and and standards that I live my life by and I'm going to hold true to that and so it's a constant reminder about my values and my principles in life as well uh, but it's also a, a reminder that of, of all that I've overcome. And if I ever get there again in my life, then I know I can do it again. Fantastic. Robin Otapa, it was a fascinating conversation. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Lovely. Thank, Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Thanks.